Alright, hello guys. Today in this video we're going to be talking about the upcoming pattern and we're going to be going day by day for the next 10 to 12 to 15 days. I don't know exactly how many days it is, but we're going to be going day by day and showing you the temperature anomalies and showing you what the pattern is going to look like for the entire United States over the next uh, few days, like I said. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask you to subscribe if you like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. The Facebook group is especially cool. That one has over 600 members now and it's a super active group if you do like talking about weather, I highly recommend it. Now, we're looking at temperatures for today as of this morning and you can see we really have a horseshoe of warm temperatures around the United States. You can see for the west, we have that heat wave that I was calling for in my weekly forecast. You can see that is really set in for a lot of those western states. A lot of those pink colors is where we're, you know, 8 to 12 degrees above average Celsius, which is very, very far above average. And you can see for the east, eastern United States, we're, some, we're somewhere between 0.5 to 6 degrees above average for that, you know, east coast and then into some of the Gulf state, or sorry, some of the... <laughs> Great Lakes states there, but New England, we're looking about average. And then you can see for the north central United States, we have a little bit of a trough brewing there that looks to be heading south. Um, we're going to move on a frame so we can see that take place there. You can see it moves into the eastern United States and really New England, the northeast, the Great Lakes, and then um, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Missouri, Kentucky. All of these areas go below average pretty far. Anywhere from 0.5 to about 6 degrees below average. So we are seeing some of those troughs. Again, if you checked out my September forecast, I was calling for this to happen. A lot of those troughs for the North Central and then into the Great Lakes and New England states. We still see that heat wave, obviously, for the Western United States and the Southeastern United States. It's slightly above average still. Uh, this is Thursday, by the way. Tomorrow mid-morning. Then here's Friday mid-morning. You can see those cooler temperatures uh, kind of all over the place by this point. There's kind of a, a area of below average temperatures from New England into the northeast and then down through Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and then down into Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Uh, and then for the east coast, mid-Atlantic, southeast coast, this area is above normal temperatures. And we still, again, have that heat wave out there west still you know, we're still feeling the effects of that by this point. And that kind of heads into the central United States as well. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin. All of these areas are above normal. Now we're going to move on to mid-morning Saturday. And you can see those cooler temperatures are kind of returning for the northeast in the north central United States. We still see some warmer temperatures there for the southeast, but not quite as much by this point. And then that heat wave is still out there for the west. That looks to be the story for this entire video, mostly. Uh, that heat wave just sticking around out there. Uh, I will keep mentioning it, though. Uh, we, but we overall see below average temperatures there for the eastern United States, particularly the northern, uh, north central and northeastern United States. We're going to move on to Sunday mid-morning, and you can see it's kind of headed further north, the cold, and the warm has kind of intruded into some of those uh, middle states, but for the most part, we still have pretty potent cold up there for the very northern northeastern states and north central states. California is starting to cool off a little bit here as well, but for the most part, Montana, Dakotas, Minnesota, into the Great Lakes, and then into New England. For the most part, we're looking at most areas in 2.5 to 8 degrees below average uh, Celsius, which is pretty cold. A lot of people were like, why do you use Celsius? Well, this is a model run and I don't really have control over if it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, so it's not my map that I'm making, unfortunately. I know it would be easier if you saw it in Fahrenheit, but we have to look at it in Celsius. If you're wondering how far below average it is Fahrenheit, you can search up a converter to just search up for your area, depending on what color shade you are. It'd be too hard for me to do it for everywhere, but for your local area, you can search it up in your phone or in your computer. Now, we're gonna move on to mid-morning Monday, and you can see that cool down really for the north central United States is kind of tapered off, but it has moved into the Great Lakes and New England states here. A lot of those pinks showing up, that's eight to 16 degrees below average Celsius, so a pretty huge cool down here by the 9th. Um, and then we see that heat wave starting to taper off and even head into some below average temperatures here for the western United States. This is kind of that pattern change setting in. We're going to go away from the cooler temperatures for the east 
and move more towards um, kind of a negative PNA pattern is what I'd call it. Positive NAO, negative PNA for a little bit here. But we see the southeastern United States and south central United States are above average as well as some of those northern rocky regions. Going to move on to Tuesday mid-morning. And you can see, again, those western United States still cooling off more and more. Uh, temperatures are all over the place, but it would come out average or slightly below average as a whole for the western United States. We see that warm up for the central United States from Texas all the way up through the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma. All of these areas are pretty far above average. If you're in the orange or red, you're 2.5 to 8 degrees above average. So pretty decent warm up there. Southeastern United States is also experiencing a pretty decent warm up by this point as well. New England, though, you're still below average temperatures uh, as we move on to Thursday mid-morning, 12Z. So this is the 12th of September. And you can see it turns into more of a north to south type pattern where the southern United States is seeing above average temperatures. And the northern United States is seeing more below average temperatures. So interior New England, some of those Great Lakes states, north central states, and northern Rockies, we're all experiencing below average temperatures by this point according to the GFS, and in the southern United States, we're expecting warm temperatures from California all the way through to the East Coast. Now, keep in mind, the further into this model run we get, the less reliable it becomes. And also, it's not my forecast. It's a model run. So we're just kind of reviewing this model run together. Um, according to the GFS, there will be a lot of inaccuracies because this is a computer making this projection. But for the most part, it tends to be uh, pretty decent and can see the pattern. Obviously, if it says you're going to be four degrees above average on September 12th, it'll probably be two degrees off from that. You can probably expect it to be, you know, a little bit off. But overall, if it's calling for above average temperatures, you probably will be above. And if it's calling for below average temperatures, there's a good chance you'll be below as well. Looking at Saturday, September 14th, 12Z, mid morning again. We do see some warmer temperatures out there for the west again, once again. Uh, we are heading into a pattern that looks a lot more like my September forecast. If you watch that one, you can see the central United States is really cooled off by this point. This is mid-September. Uh, and then the west coast is above normal temperatures as well as the east coast, but New England is a little bit below average. They're still Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, all below average. But anywhere from Wyoming down through Colorado into northern Texas and northern Oklahoma, and then back up into the Great Lakes states. We're seeing a big trough there uh, during the 14th, according to this model. We're going to move on one to Monday, 12Z, September 16th. And you can see that trough moves a little bit eastward. And this is what I expect to see throughout the month of September. Uh, these cooldowns that kind of linger in the central United States and then start to weaken and head east a little bit. Uh, and we'll, I think we'll see that pretty consistently throughout the month, a pattern that looks a little bit like that. Uh, but the western United States by the 16th is, again, warming up pretty far. So we will have a brief cooldown for you guys out west. But it looks like it's going to warm back up by middle month, according to the GFS. And then we start to see these cooldowns more for the central United States. And then they move eastward into the Gulf, or the Great Lakes states, some of those Gulf states, and then New England as well. With that southeast ridge still in place, you can see from Florida up through Virginia, we're still experiencing above average temperatures, which is, again, what I was calling for in my September forecast. Here's Wednesday, uh, 12Z, and you can see we do have a brief warm-up here. Uh, the, the heat wave is definitely returned for the west, as you see a lot of those pinkish colors that is very far above normal. And then for the south central and eastern United States and Great Lakes states by this point, we are seeing a bit of a warm-up here, uh, 4 to 8 degrees above average for the entire eastern United States. But you can see we still have this little bit of a trough lingering there from Montana into the Dakotas, Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, we still do see those below normal temperatures. Uh, and then you can see this is the end of the run. We're 366 hours out. So this is, you know, <laughs> the reliability here is not as high uh, as you would hope. Obviously, I'm showing this because I think it's going to be a big possibility, but it's not going to look like this most likely as this is many, many, many days out. Uh, I believe over 15 days out. So, yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty far out, guys. Uh, but we do see this heat wave for the western United States. Southern, southern United States as a whole is above normal, as well as the southeastern United States. We still see that ridge, but we do see a huge cooldown here from the Dakotas down through Nebraska and into the uh, Great Lakes states. 
and interior northeastern United States, we see this big trough by the end of September. Now, why do I think that a model this far out could be correct, right? It's just a model run. Why do I think this? Well, here's a look at your teleconnections. Your, first off, we're looking at the AO. They like this, the GFS ensemble model likes to keep this one negative from the 11th onward. So just keep this oscillation completely negative. Uh, we are in a positive phase right now up until the 10th with that one. And an AO is the Arctic oscillation. And that one actually in a negative phase would lead to below normal temperatures for the United States. In a positive phase, it would lead to above normal temperatures in the United States. Now we're looking at your North Atlantic oscillation. You can see we're in a positive phase. We've been in a negative phase for months. We just got into a positive phase. And it looks to stay positive until about the 11th or the 12th, just like the AO. And then head negative. And again, negative uh, phases of this oscillation would lead to below normal temperatures for the eastern United States and above normal temperatures out there west and north of us. Now, here's your PNA. Pacific North American Oscillation. This one is actually the opposite. You want this one in a positive phase for cold temperatures in the eastern United States. And in a negative phase, it would lead to uh, above normal temperatures in the eastern United States. You can see we're in a positive phase. The only reason we're going to go above normal temperatures is because we do have that AO and NAO in a positive phase. But we do see some cooldowns happening, and it's probably mostly due to this PNA being positive. It is going to go negative briefly around the 9th, then positive again then negative once again for the 13th through the 15th, and then looks to start to slowly head positive towards the 20th, which is again when we'd like to see that cooldown be possible according to the GFS. Not likely, but possible. Uh, more likely than a ridge in the east with the models showing this and the teleconnections looking favorable, but still not very likely, but, but possible. I'm just making you guys aware of the things that are possible in the long range. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. I will be doing a Dorian video later to update you guys along the East Coast what's going to be happening and the effects you will be feeling. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.